If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. An Ullerin trail is a trail that passes through every edge once and starts and finishes at different vertices. But what is a trail? So this is an example of a trail. A trail is a walk that passes through edges only one, but vertices may be repeated. For example, this one here. I start at I, I travel to B and B to C, C to F, F to A, and then I stop at E. Noting that I only pass it through these edges one, and then this vertex A here, I repeat it twice. So this is a trail. Let's focus on uh, Ullerian trails. So for example, I can start C, I go to D, and from D, I travel to E, and then E, I go to A, so from A, I go to F, and then from F to C, and from C to B, and B to A. This is an Ullerian trail. Or, I can start from A, and to C, and C to F, F to A, and then to E, and from E to D, and then from D, I stop at C. So noting that I start at A and I finish at C and I visit every edges once. So this is an Ullerian trail. Please note, for an Ullerian trail to exist, there must be exactly two vertices with an odd degree. Let's check this out. So I have vertex A. I have 1, 2, 3, degree of 3. For C, I have 1, 2, 3, so degree of 3. So the rest are degree of 2, degree of 2, degree of 2, degree of 2. So that is valid. So let's identify an Ullerian trial for this network. So first of all, we need to work out whether an Ullerian exists in this network or not. So step number one, we need to find out the degree of each vertex first. So the degree of vertex A is 1, 2, 3. So degree of 3. And then for B, 1, 2, 3, the degree of B is 3. And then C is 1, 2. So the degree of C is 2. And then similarly, for E, we have 1, 2. So there you go. So we have two degree of 2 for E. Now remember, for an Ullerian trail to exist, we must have exact two vertices with an odd degree. So we have vertex A and vertex B. The degree is, both of them is 3, so which is odd. The rest are even. There you go. So we can identify an Ullerian trail for this one. Then what is an Ullerian trail? Now an Ullerian trail must visit every edge once and start and finish at different places or vertices if you like. For example, I can start at B, okay, and I go to E and then from E to D and then D to C and then C to A and A I go to D and from D to B and then from B I go to A. See, I start at B and I finish at A. Now I start and finish at different um, vertices and then I visit every edges once. Or I can start from A, I go to D and then from D to C and C to A and A to B and B to D and D to E and E to B. So which means I start this time, I start at A and I finished at B. So, and I visit every edges once. So this is an Ullerian trail. Now, please stop the video and try this one yourself.
So step number one, we need to work out whether an Eulerian trail exists in this network first. So to do this, we need to find the degree of its vertex. So vertex A, we have a degree of 2, 1, 2. So this is A is equal to 2. And then vertex B, we have 1, 2, 3. So degree of 3. And for E, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So degrees of 4. And then for C, we have 1, 2, 3. So which is equal to 3. Now for D, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So degrees of 4. And for F, we have 1, 2. So degrees of 2. Now remember, for an Eulerian trail to exist, we must have exactly 2 odd degree. So we have degree of B, and then the degree of C, that both are degree of 3, so which is odd, and the rest are even. So therefore, this network has Eulerian trails. So this one, we have multiple answer. Remember that. I'll do the first one for you first. So my answer could be different from your, okay? It doesn't mean you're wrong. So make sure you meet all the conditions of Eulerian rule. So which is, we start from C, we go to A. So for example, my one, I can start from C, I go to D, and from D, I go to F, and F to D, and D to E, and E to C, and from C, I go to B, and from B, I go to E, and from E, I go to A, and then from A, I go to B. So I start at C, okay, I start at C, and then I end at B. So I finished and start at different vertices and I pass through every edge once. So this is an Eulerian trail. Or I can start at B and then go to A and from A I can go to E and from E to D and from D I go to F and then from F back to D and from D travel to C and from C to E and from E to B and then from B I go to C and which is N there. So I start at B, remember, and then I end at C. So I end at different vertices and I pass through every edges once. So this is an Eulerian trail. Thank you so much for watching.